13. As a 16-year-old boy from the poverty-stricken slums of Managua, Alexis Arguello took up the sport of boxing purely to better the quality of life for his family. However, he found himself enveloped in a moment which would trigger the beginnings of a journey that not even he himself could have predicted. Arguello won his first world championship at the tender age of 22 by defeating Mexican great Ruben Olivares in 13 rounds. He saw this victory as an opportunity not only to build his legacy as a great fighter, but also as a platform to construct his character as a great human being. Arguello used his in-ring successes to reach out to and aid as many of his country's people as he possibly could. While Arguello was helping the people of Nicaragua outside the ring, he was on a rampage inside of it, drubbing everyone in his path as he amassed 24 knockouts and 31 wins, en route to two more world titles in as many weight classes. Due to the nature in which he took care of business, it may have seemed as though a flaco explosivo, or the explosive thin man, was fighting out of personal hatred felt towards his fellow combatants. However, this was not the case. Throughout the entirety of his career as a professional sportsman, he remained gracious in victory and ever respectful to each one of his opponents. This fact was epitomized on the night of his 14th round knockout victory over Ray Boom Boom Mancini. Ray's father Lenny, who was an up-and-coming contender in the 1940s before getting injured in World War II, sat at ringside as his son took a merciless beating at the hands of Arguello, only for the champion to embrace his conquered challenger and offer his compassion and condolences to the Mancini family just moments later. Ray Mancini, I love you, father. This is the most beautiful thing you have, like I have my father. Take good care of you, you're gonna be a good, good promise. And I promise, if I can do something for you, let me know, please. Thank you. Okay. In a bid to become the first ever fighter to win world titles in four separate weight classes, Alexis Arguello challenged Aaron Pryor for his 140-pound WBA title in November of 1982. After an epic back-and-forth struggle, Pryor found himself enigmatically rejuvenated in the 14th round. Give me that ball. The, the one I mix. Yeah. Okay? It would seem as though the turning point in Arguello's life all started with the crushing defeat suffered at the hands of Aaron Pryor. Yet this proved not to be the case. Three years before losing to Pryor, one small and seemingly insignificant moment would spark what ultimately proved to be the beginning of the end of his life. After beating Rafael Limon in Madison Square Garden in July of 1979, Arguello was draped in a Sandinista flag. Almost immediately, the controversial political party began to try and associate themselves with Arguello. Alexis loathed their communist background so much that when he retired from boxing in 1983, he chose to fight in the Nicaraguan Civil War for the Contras, 
who seek to overthrow the Sandinista government. As a result of getting caught up in his country's political problems, the Sandinistas took Arguello's cars, houses, boat, and obtained possession of his bank account. Several years later, Arguello, who had exiled himself to Miami for his own safety, returned to his native Nicaragua and formed an alliance with Sandinista leader Daniel Ortega in desperate hope of launching his own political career. Around this time, Arguello separated from his second wife, fell victim to cocaine and alcohol abuse, battled depression, and even contemplated taking his own life on numerous occasions. Although he was chosen as vice president of the Sandinista party in 2004 and elected mayor of Managua in 2008, he never truly got over the problems which he suffered from in his personal life. At approximately 1 a.m. on July 1, 2009, Alexis Arguello fulfilled what he had wished upon himself for the remaining few years of his life and reportedly committed suicide via single gunshot through the heart. He was 52 years old. <laughs> 